In this chapter of Message Crawler video manual, we're talking about processing. Here we're going to talk about everything you need to know about processing our SMF files. First, we're going to cover theory, and then we're going to go hands-on and process some RSMF files and see what they look like in relativity. Let's start. First thing, requirements. You must be on Relativity 10.3 Plus or Relativity 1. 10.2 has partial support for RSMF, but you probably don't want to process your RSMF files in that version. You must use Relativity Processing to load data into Relativity. Do not use single file upload. Uh, do not create cross-reference file to try to load it with a desktop client. That will not work. You need to use Processing in Relativity. When you're processing, Make sure you enable extract children. This way all the attachments will be well extracted. And finally, make sure you have group identifier mapped correctly. This way your families will be grouped together. Otherwise you will not be able to separate where your messages and where your attachments are. Time zone considerations. Relativity assumes our SMF files were created in UTC time zone. If they are, that's perfectly fine and you can process them in UTC GMT time zone. That'll work just fine. If you want to have Relativity offset them to a different time zone, you can set that and Relativity will process and offset it as well. However, if you already exported your data from forensic software in, for example, Eastern time zone, and then if you're going to set Eastern time zone and processing, you will offset your documents twice uh, once during forensic process and the second time during relativity processing. So if your data is already in Eastern and you want to leave it as is, set your processing profile to UTC. Attachments. Pictures and videos will be rendered in the viewer. However, other attachments will show up on the panel on the bottom right where all the family items are shown as normal. When you're looking at the table view, in relativity, it's a good idea to filter only for messages, only for RSMF files, and remove attachments from the view. This way, when you go to next, 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 you're going from one RSMF file to the next, and you're not seeing the attachments. Attachments will be shown in line. Next, if you have zip files, zip file content will not be shown in line inside the RSMF file. It will be extracted and shown in the family panels on the bottom right. Next. Quality control. Standard quality control applies. You want to make sure you do not receive any processing errors. If you do receive them, you need to deal with them appropriately. Retry, ignore, do whatever you have to. You want to make sure your documents get published. You make sure that number of unpublished documents is zero. So follow all the normal procedures you use when you're doing processing and relativity. However, there is one more check that I encourage people to do, and that deals with large RSMF files. There's certain timeout errors or memory errors that can cause attachments not to get extracted in the large files. I've seen it in a test environment on rare occasions. And what I encourage people to do is to sort your process data by size after it's in relativity and then check the attachment count. So if you see large RSMF files and the attachment counts are zero, well, there's probably something wrong and you may need to examine that. Uh, Relativity is aware of this behavior and they're working on improving that. Uh, hopefully by the time you see this video, this will not be a problem, but just in case I want to warn you and um, suggest you do this check. All right, let's jump into the demo of processing. In the previous video, we exported a couple of RSMF files to my desktop. So this is where they are. I am going to copy them and I'm going to put them in my processing source location. So these are going to be RSMF4 created from a DAT file. I'm going to paste them here and then I'm going to switch to Relativity. Now, this is a new version of Relativity so the user interface may look a little different. I'm going to go to my processing workspace and I will go to processing and I'm going to check my processing profile. So just like we talked before, we want to make sure our um, extract children is set to yes and then all your options is you set whatever you're comfortable with uh, your CR and extraction I suggest you leave them all on and we are going to jump to our fields and we're going to confirm that our group identifier is mapped to source of a group identifier 
So group identifiers, the ID, which file belongs to, this used to identify group families and so on. So you want to make sure you have the source set up. Once we have that, we can create our processing profile. So I'm gonna say new processing profile. And just for ease, I'm gonna copy this. And that is what I'm going to call my profile. I'm gonna paste this here, say save. And then I'm going to browse for my data in my data source location. So click on new, browse, 05, save. I will select my custodian. And again, this is where we can do our time zone selection, either here or in the processing profile. I'm going to save this and I'm going to kick off processing. All right, so let's give it a couple of minutes to finish. Okay, now processing had finished. We don't have any errors, so we are good to publish our data. I'm going to click on Publish Files. I'm going to hit Publish and give it another couple of minutes. And now the publishing had finished. We want to check to make sure unpublished files is zero. If you have unpublished files, you probably have some kind of problem. Now we can navigate to Documents tab and we can go to our RSMF for that files folder and let's adjust our filtering. I'm going to change our message type to only include messages. So now we have two messages and we had two RSMF files. And if we're gonna go next, 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 we'll be going from one conversation to the next. So clicking on the document, we're going to switch to a native view, which will show us our conversation. This is a conversation between multiple people and we see we have animated GIFs, pictures, and we have other content we can click on. And of course, we have a timeline on the bottom. And just like that, we successfully processed our data into relativity. Now we can let reviewers do their thing and look at these documents. All right, that's it for this chapter of Message Crawler video manual. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out message crawler on hashtag legal.com. And if you have any questions, make sure you email me and tell me about any questions or problems you might be having with either converting files or processing. I will see you in the next chapter.